Miles starts his journey down in the subway, standing next to those he's tasked with protecting, versus Peter in the first game overlooking his city. Is the Snapchat text tone copyrighted? Did Insomniac have to pay for that? Right away as we exit the subway, we're shown this is Miles' game. The colorful street bathed in this orange glow, the color palette is so much wider here than in Peter's game. Miles says later that he doesn't feel at home in Harlem. The music here and the way he's interacting with everyone could suggest otherwise. I like to read this as Miles putting on a mask to cover his insecurities that he hasn't quite conquered yet. Shake a leg versus break a leg. Like that some of the things Peter says is so very obviously coming from an older guy, but he owns it. Oh, first time seeing Miles in the suit, and does he make an entrance? All the suits in here are great, but this one here is my favorite. It looks so much more comfortable to be in than a traditional suit. Miles' theme started from the second the suit up happened, but it doesn't explode into its full form until the player gets to swing as him for the first time. It's like we're being celebrated along with Miles. And you can't deny the amount of work and nuance that went into this spinoff. Just look at the way Miles swings. This is a kid having so much fun flying through the streets of New York. But avoid made town. That prison convoy is making traffic a nightmare. A little late on that one, Ma. You know, Drinking Upside Down has always been a weird thing for my brain to wrap around. I thought it was gravity with a little help from our mouth that made stuff go down. Oh, and neat visual representation of what it truly means to be Spider-Man, which is boiled down to drinking coffee upside down. Peter's still the pro. Oh, this shop makes me feel things. It's so hype having two spider people work together. I love how Peter is just dealing with Rhino around us. It's happening whether you look or not. Never see the big guy up close like this. Freaking nuts! He's a work of art, all right. I know they're talking about Rhino, but it could be taken as if they're talking about Peter. We as the player haven't got to see Peter work since we've only played as him previously. Are you asking him that because Rhino wasn't introduced until 1966? That's mean, Peter. There's no way you could know. Your holiday spirit's a little overzealous this year, Alexei. Something I don't think Miles can beat this Peter on are his quips. Miles are good, but Peter's never not land for me. Tomorrow's bugle headline's gonna be a doozy. Worst thing out of this is a bad headline. I'm gonna count us lucky. Yeah, you won't be saying that later. I got this. Take it away, cowpoke. Huh? Cowpoke is another word for cowboy. So, yeah. Go get him, cowboy. Gotcha. And you're safe. You too. Will you? you all know having the hero save people makes my spidey sense tingle, so naturally, I love this. Hey, that's the Insomniac logo. If Peter made me tingle before, then I'm in complete ecstasy at this sexy-ass maneuver from Miles. Also, this works so well having two Spider-Man, I hope so bad that the next game has an opt-in co-op option. How awesome would it be to do this in real time with a buddy? I know that might be wishful thinking, so at least make them both playable in the next game? He's a low-energy menace! He's a weak-minded! Oh! Low-energy and weak-minded. Funny, because those are the complete opposite of what Miles is throughout this game. I might be reading too much into this, which is kind of the point of this channel. But Miles webs a car while Peter webs a fire hydrant. Fire hydrants have a long pipe that connects to another underground, thus making it a much sturdier option versus a car to stop Rhino. Okay? A quick little visual representation of their experience levels. I mean, it doesn't work anyway, but it's the thought that counts. Pete. I guess we play Peter's hero theme as he gets his ass whooped. This spider man is broken. I would like to exchange for new Who said only Spider-Man can quit? No! I hate chase of goose! I bet Rhino does. He had to chase Miles around in the first game. <laughs> and Miles finally gets to stand up to Rhino after probably receiving PTSD from him in the first game. Wow, just... <laughs> the f*** is Justin Timberlake doing in this game? Hold on, let me check to see if they used him to voice... God damn it. It's Troy Baker again. Is this dude in every game ever? Uh, sorry. I think our ball landed in your yard. Like father and son playing catch, or two brothers playing catch? 
I'm gonna go with Brothers since we've already got the father one from Spider-Verse. Future's looking bright. Uh, you could say that. Okay, Peter's remodel is not my first choice personally, but I don't hate it and I don't think we should give Insomniac so much hell for it. I will admit in the PS5 remaster, he looks weird, but I think that can be just chalked up to it probably being a rushed patch job. Whereas here, I think the model looks remarkably better. I have a feeling by the time Spider-Man 2 comes out, they'll have nailed his facial animations and this will all just feel like a weird dream. Kind of a working vacation for us. Oh man. After all Peter's been through, Aunt May dying, the Sinister Six, facial reconstruction surgery, I think he deserves a nice vacation. But first, you gotta take the oath. Oh. Um, okay. That slowdown of Miles' theme is so pretty. I won't risk playing it here, but the use of the licensed music is always so poignant for Miles. I've had the four tracks on repeat while creating this video. Rhino! I'm so glad that Miles has his own guy in the chair. It would suck if he didn't have anyone to bounce off of throughout the game. If I found out I had spider powers, you bet I would tell my best friend. Oh my god, this starter suit for Miles is so goofy looking. Maybe I'll take back what I said about brothers, because this looks like a protective dad made this suit. Complete with pads and everything. Miles, get ready for your first holographic training challenge. Here's a fun way to get more Peter into the game, introduce some side activities, and train Miles in being Spider-Man. Always have your story do multiple things at once. Insomniac, incapacitating three vultures with one web shooter. Ooh, we gotta name it. How about Venom Power? You know, because it stings. You know, I'm kind of liking Genki. I'm so glad that he was done well. Hi there, I'm Simon Krieger. And yeah, I'd be startled too if Justin just started screaming at me out of nowhere. Stark logo, anyone? The moving spider lenses has been a great addition to the Marvel movies and these games. Gathering all that expression while keeping the mask on really helps. Do it. Miles is new to this. His spidey sense kind of sucks. What are these weapons? Memory metal? No, Miles. It's called Transformium. I gotta get home. Christmas dinner sounding pretty good right about now. Miles Morales is definitely my favorite Christmas game. What? You don't have a favorite Christmas game? It's a thing, I swear. Of the three you could choose from, you got one representing Ma, one representing Dad, and a nice Christmas song. Finn? Hey, fixed your doorbell. <laughs> Look at Finn fixing problems no one asked her to fix. She's a real go-getter she is. I hope she continues this altruism in a positive way. Uh, energy converter? <laughs> Jinx! <laughs> Their excitement is so cute here. Makes me so sad that she uses that creation to essentially rip their friendship apart. Come on. It worked. Miles being friendly to the neighborhood. Why couldn't he just use the same window that he exited out of? Uh, sure. But would it have made for a fun little scene like this? No. You guys sit down. I got this. Even in his home life, he's taking all the responsibility on himself. Sure, it's just a ham, but like, let me have this. Damn, does this dinner make me wish I had a family like this? It's so wholesome, and they did a great job capturing the love that Miles fears to lose. I had to quit, but I've been studying biotech on my own. Funny that she's researching biotech, but doesn't really know Miles. Does your brother Rick still work for Roxxon? I don't know how anyone could work there after seeing your last campaign ad. Spoken like a true politician, and quickly changing the subject while still satisfying who asked. Harlem needs someone to fight for the community. I like the focus on Harlem throughout the game. It's not all of New York that Miles is trying to save. I mean, yes, but the lens is more attuned here. His new home, where he knows nobody. Still as smooth as the last time I saw you. <laughs> this is adorable, but like, that's dirty sink water, y'all. Miles! What? You awake? No. <laughs> Haven't we all done that? You just fell asleep again, didn't you? And he was telling the truth. You know I like a nice diegetic HUD. Didn't know Miles was seeing the same stuff as us. I know there was recently a VR Spider-Man game, but how long do you think till we get something on this level? God, VR is so cool and new, it's exciting. And report crimes in progress. Nice UI. Thanks. Insomniac having Miles say nice UI is like the human brain saying that it's the most complex thing in the universe. I'm Spider-Man, by the way. Yeah, 
I know. Glad you clarified for him. I bet he was so confused beforehand. So, uh, you call Spider-Man often? Have you, uh, been working at the subway long? This is adorable, but also kind of sad. Miles hasn't gotten to see his uncle much, if at all, since the falling out between him and his dad. He's got to speak in tongues just to get a moment with his Aaron. There are way too many wires on this one. I say that about my PC setup every day. You have a plan? Sort of making it up as I go. The mark of the true Spider-Man. <laughs> Watching your moves on those escape cons, juking guys left and right. Could have sworn I was back at the park playing pickup with you and your dad. Who knew Miles was doing cartwheels and flips to juke out his Uncle Aaron and pick up? Hey, Molasses! Up here! Late for the date, slow when sneaking around in the game, slow in becoming Spider-Man... Yeah, I'd say it's a perfect nickname for him. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Rick is Gandalf. Too bad he didn't resurrect, right, Finn? The Fibonacci sequence. With math and science nerds, what else could you expect? You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Probably not, seeing as they tore it down before the events of Spider-Man and then rebuilt it in the year before this game started. Something going on with him? Yeah, he's fucking dead. Crap, now I'm late. Oh, now you're running late? I haven't mentioned it yet, so I will hear Miles' cut is fresh. That fade in lineup, so much better than what he was rocking in the first game. If you're gonna do a loading screen, may as well entertain us while you do it. Too bad these subway scenes aren't in the PS5 version. You okay? Yeah, it's just last time we did one of these, my bad. Jeez, I couldn't imagine how scary I'd feel to be in Miles' shoes. Oh, damn. Best friends changing into a nice battle theme for them going head-to-head -to -head for the first time. What the hell are you doing? I'm no comic reader, and I'm very slow to pick things up my first time around, so this reveal completely shocked me and had my jaw on the floor. Also, I'm glad they made this reveal at the midpoint versus doing some twist reveal at the end. This completely changes the story that we were expecting and creates a much more compelling challenge for Miles to overcome. Since Miles is still learning to become Spider-Man, he's got to go through all those beginner Spider-Man tropes, such as being the reason everyone's in danger. Keep him busy. <laughs> That's really all it would be. I appreciate the effort, Miles, but did you really think you'd stop a whole ass suspension cable with just your strength, a web, and nothing to brace on? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta win it. This set piece is what I wanted Marvel's Avengers scene to focus on, not Widow fighting Taskmaster. Stop this! And every Spider-Man has gotta have his Jesus moment. Copy. <laughs> Uncle Aaron tried to warn you, Miles. I said put that phone away now! <laughs> this commentary might make some uncomfortable, and I'm glad. This is how it really is, and I like that Miles Morales brings some attention to it. More on this later. What the hell? Oh yeah, I was so wrapped up in the story that I completely forgot about Miles' invisibility. Finn's the tinkerer. She stole the new form. No idea why. And it's my fault the bridge blew up. Miles can't catch a break. It's one thing after another for this kid. When I was 17, I thought the hardest thing about my life was juggling all my theater and choir responsibilities. I'd definitely die if I had all this responsibility. Which is what makes Miles great. Our family doesn't give up. I can hear them screaming to not say, our family doesn't run from things, since Spider-Verse used that two years prior. When I got powers, and I, I thought I would be able to fix anything. Do anything that Spider-Man does. Do whatever a spider can? Whenever you say Spider-Man, you always mean the other one. You're Spider-Man. Everyone deserves a friend like Genki. Another licensed song that I love. This is PlayStation Miles' What's Up Danger. Prowler Colors. No matter how you slice it, becoming Spider-Man is still a bit about going through puberty. Eh, almost there. Uh, oh, look at that suit and swinging past Central Station in the Empire State. No, don't do that. Okay, I trust you. Gotta love Peter's faith in Miles. Dare I say, everyone deserves a friend like Peter. Something I thought of and felt like putting here versus in the conclusion is that Miles' powers that differ from Peter's are so poignant to his character. And the story's hiding and feels alone, even though he's got all this drive to do good for his borough and city at large. 
reflecting his invisibility and venom powers. That dude in the background is just like, yeah, just another day in New York. People are probably so used to Spider-Man whooping some ass. Christmas break sure is different this year. I should be at home, taking naps, playing a ton of video games. Sounds like what my Christmas break's gonna be. Wait, that is going a circle. What the hell, Insomniac? You could have just made it a straight line. The guy who installed that is clearly padding his resume. Kinda like this game, huh? Damn, Miles. We're a skinny ass kid. You hit hard. Even most people probably know that Uncle Aaron is the Prowler. The reveal is still treated with the respect for the few that might have not known. Right now, it would help me for you to go back to your lab. Oof. Krieger's face being bathed in red as he threatens his employee. And I can't believe my nephew's risking his neck for a phone. Is that a jab at us Gen Zers? Reactor in each one. New form made Rick sick. All the new form reactors are in the same place as Roxxon's advertisement showed. Attention to detail. Nice. So you're telling me that Miles would never have to charge his phone again? There's the real reason I want Spidey powers. I like the detail of Miles' health bar going up and down as the power of the reactor is making him strong, but it's also just too much to handle. If you take the left, I'll take the right. Immediately goes left. Go ahead, try and get up. Oh, damn. Aren't there things on top of subways that you'll hit your... Oh. Glad they addressed that. People get stupid when they care about someone. Speaking from personal experience and trying to help your nephew. And I've been running some numbers, and I know you said no to ads before, but maybe we could reconsider... No. Okay, Miles, I get where you're coming from and it's admirable, but Peter was homeless last game. I think he could use a bit of money. I'll stop telling you what to do, but I worry about you, mijo. I really appreciate the way Rio is raising Miles, giving him space and not being overbearing. Fisk Tower is most definitely this universe's Trump's Tower. Hope you got the skills to back that up. Next time you're free, taking you down. Well, I know here you meant basketball, but when Miles frees himself from rocks on later, you go and try to take him down and lock him up until the heat dies down. So, keeping your word, I guess. If that new Spider-Man hadn't shown up, everyone would have been fine. Finn's not wrong here. It would have been an open and closed operation. Another reason I like Finn as the antagonist so much. Maybe I could join your club? Crew? Team? It's nice they dodge the your way in over your head trope. Since Miles is Spider-Man, he doesn't judge her. And after seeing her capabilities, there's no reason he should doubt her. You know I'm not good with heights. I'm gonna take that as real canon that Miles is afraid of heights because I think it's funny. It's a pretty simple test, but also like a crazy one. Imagine you're just a normal person trying to do this. You could just fucking die. So, the underground is hardcore. Oh, Miles, make it look good. <laughs> oh, yeah, Miles, ham it up. Wait, his name is Ganky Lee? I know Lee is a common last name, and it would have come up if he was Mr. Negative's son, but still, kind of strange that they could have picked any last name and went with Lee. See you back here soon? Definitely. Sooner than you realize. Put into a cell suspended over an alligator pit, and then making a bomb out of gum wrappers to escape? Wait, what? No! Yeah, Genki. What the fuck? <laughs> this is pretty cool. I would have liked it even more if they got suspicious because they could feel his presence. That's a thing, I promise. Think of sunflowers, think of sunflowers. Looks like the underground are squatting in old fist construction sites. Smart reuse of old assets. While you were sleeping in, I kind of played speed on a gun. Is this a super hexagon reference? Underground are everywhere. You might say they're <laughs> overground? <laughs> I love Genki. Gotta appreciate the fact that Miles just yeets his way through the door without knowing at all what's on the other side. Really feeling like my gaming rig is underpowered right now. Me too, Genki. Me too. <laughs> this is the worst ice skating date ever. I gotta call you back. I don't know what they had to do about cutscene transitions like this, but damn, it is clean as hell. I know these guys aren't famous like the boys superheroes, but there's gotta be someone weirded out that Spider-Man is buddy-buddy with a thief. Even without the ray tracing, take a look at Miles' lenses. Trinity Church. Remember, Tinker is yours, but leave the boy alone. 
You fake bitch. Some nice attention to blocking here. They are on different levels, reflecting their different ideals, and don't meet until Miles offers some relatable ground. I fucking guess Rhino's just back. Where are we? You're behind the curtain, bud. Behind the iron curtain, you might say? He said the only thing you knew how to do was sell other people's ideas. To be fair, who's to say Rick was any good at selling ideas? There's whole job markets out there for people just to sell products. So maybe Krieger isn't that bad a dude after all? I'm kidding, he's awful. I'm gonna hit the gym. Leg day, can't skip it. Oh, I can. Thank God we play as Spider-Man and not make this a Finn stealth section since she's without her weapons. You caught them, but it was thanks to your intel, so clearly there's something going on there. <laughs> a weird, even more perverted version of Krieger and Rick. My Spider-Man! <laughs> Cute. Perfect. My Miles walks like a straight-up G. Finn's wounds on her face are the same as after Rick died. Say all you want about Roxxon, they've got a knack for consistency. I thought I'd miss having a brother, but I had you. Eh, uh, I don't know how to take that. I thought they were more on the romantic side versus familial. Uh, I don't know, maybe I read their scenes wrong. You like my new color? Color or collar? Oh, both work. Oh, damn, Finn. All right, you got some respect for that one. Quick, Miles, find the horn for Genki. He also told me it was your fault. Dude, you're like already dead. Why are you taunting her? Sometimes you just gotta have a bad dude being bad. I destroyed my lab! Got me kidnapped! Anger, anger, anger! <laughs> oh, both of Miles' parents are there for him. If you look closely, Miles' spider sense goes off right before Aaron snipes your butt. Let me know in the comments if you can actually dodge it. And I'm not gonna let people die just to save my skin. I think Miles gets it. This isn't about me at all. It's about you. You're afraid. Don't you turn this on me. Yeah. Yeah. George Lucas, this is how you have two characters throw down. Have them talk throughout the fight. It makes their confrontation so much more engaging. Throw yourself at enemies you can't beat. Know who else did that? Don't say his name! This is just one of the many parallels between Miles and Finn. Also with Finn both making promises and wanting to save Harlan. The fuck was that goofy run, Miles? Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. Whoa, weird seeing you here as it feels like you should have no memory of this place, Pete. The fuck is that face, Miles? Why young Miles so goofy? Get out of here, young blood! Browler to the rescue! We can take down Rockstar with what we know about new forms! It won't work! No one cares! A theme I mentioned earlier that I wish was explored more is the gentrification of Harlem and the disenfranchisement of those who reside there. I think it's a really important topic, now more than ever, and if this game was longer, I bet they would have gone into more depth with it. I know about the promise you made to Rick, but he wouldn't want- Don't say his name! Another parallel between Miles and Fenn. Why do you keep fighting? Because... I'm... Spider-Man! <clears throat> You won't stop me! Then I'll go down trying! This shouldn't be happening! I can stop it! Doesn't hold a grudge? Or says I told you so? Just get straight to work. Oh god, please don't Gwen Stacy her ass. I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you feel that wave rush over your body? Because those were some goosebumps. Who would have guessed that Insomniac would use one of the final big payoff shots of Miles becoming Spider-Man to market the game? <laughs> this is hella giving me Shark Boy and Lava Girl vibes. You know, when Shark Boy is running Lava Girl to a volcano? Oh, best friends coming back one more time. It's okay. You can't just let go. 
Let go. It's not a redemption, but it's amends, at least. Consequences for my actions? Is everyone okay? We're safe. All of us. First thing he's worried about are the people. Homeboy is Spider Man. That guy? He's our Spider Man. Damn right. Having it be the same painter man staying up for miles and then putting him up there next to Peter is a great little mini arc for this character and one great payoff for Miles. This rewalk of Harlem is Miles truly embracing his people and them receiving him. Love that Peter isn't jumping into the scene to try and steal the spotlight. He's just there waiting patiently while Miles gets to have his time. Suit, so cool. Ah, uh, he's there. This is Miles' time. He's in front of Peter and it's solely his theme playing. No blending of the two. This was his game and I'm so glad they didn't have Peter step on that at all. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease want him could... Hobgoblin's coming. Oh, purposely leaving the left side of the frame empty for where Finn should be. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was. And why you loved her. I think we could use a lot more of that. Less judging and That's more loving. Spider-Man Miles Morales is 100% a spinoff. And I think that is very important to keep in mind when thinking critically about this game. I know it's almost universally loved, but I'm speaking to the few that are lukewarm about the game, mechanically and narratively. Its purpose wasn't to revolutionize or reinvent the game mechanics, and I believe that it's staying so similar to its predecessor lends Miles Morales' strength. With that said, it's not without its many improvements over the first. Before I get into those, I would like to mention that I haven't reviewed the first game yet on this channel, so there are many things I chose not to win. As I'm sure you're familiar with those types of things such as Miles is exerted when talking while swinging versus not, the most perfect Spider-Man swinging we've had in a Spider-Man game, or the fact that these are some of the best Spider-Man stories told outside of comics. Well, I'll actually talk about that last one. Even with this game being a spin-off, Insomniac does their legwork to make this game worth its $50 price tag. Off the bat, with this being a PS5 launch title, that's also playable on the PS4, thank god, it's goddamn gorgeous to look at. Especially when the snowy roads of New York are bathed in the warm glow of the setting sun. It's so cinematic, all the time. Which isn't anything new, as the first one was just as great in this regard, but there's new life pumped into it here, literally with Insomniac's take on Miles and mechanically with how they crafted the entire experience. After I started the game, I was glued and couldn't put it down. I finished it the night I downloaded it. You could say I'm just a Spider-Man shill, which is... accurate. But I like to think it's because this game is actually just that good. This might be a bold statement, but I think I might like Miles Morales more than the first game. It's shorter, sure, but... I love Miles' character. Miles Morales to me is Spider-Man, just like the people of Harlem said at the end of the game. That's our Spider-Man. And what I mean by that is Peter Parker will always have a place in our hearts. He's our poster boy, the man that started it all, but there's a quality to Miles that I feel digs straight into a more modern generation. For me personally, I see myself so much more in Miles than I do Peter, and I love that there's two takes on Spider-Man. They aren't the same guy, but they both care about their city. Anybody can wear the mask, and by having Miles adopt that mask, it brings in so many other people to identify with the Spider-Man. There will be people who see themselves in Miles and in Peter, or in both. It's going to sound hokey dokey, but Spider-Man is a character that everyone can rally around. And I mean everyone. This has always been the case, but damn does that case just keep getting stronger. It's why he's been the most popular superhero... ever. My favorite aspect of the story is that Finn is the antagonist, and not in the traditional sense. We have our bad guy, and that's just in I mean, Krieger. But he doesn't really have much to do with Miles' character arc as Finn does. Finn is a major proponent in Miles completing his arc. I mean, without her, he wouldn't even have the option to attempt to sacrifice himself for Harlem. And I mean, what's more Spider-Man than being ready to die for New York? And in this example, which is even better, Harlem. That detail alone makes the scene even sweeter, because Miles felt like an outsider in Harlem, but he still is ready to lay down for them. This story was about Miles becoming Spider-Man in his heart of hearts. He already had the morals and people calling him Spider-Man, but he didn't believe it. He was consumed with imposter syndrome and had to work through that, which I loved experiencing because I'm personally working through my own imposter syndrome with the creation of this channel. But anyway, Miles does overcome it quickly and gets down to brass tacks of being Spider-Man, 
This was his true origin story, and I loved watching Miles grow into that role by the end. Back to Finn. Having an antagonist that has correct ideals but going about it in the wrong way is about as good as you can get for an antagonist. I like that this is how we got Miles and Finn to come into conflict. They both love each other but are so stalwart in their ideals they have to fight. And they're fighting for the same outcome and it's all just so... tragic. But even after all this our girl Finn gets to come back in the end for some redemption. And I only mean some, as it was her actions that started the problem in the first place. Her I'm sorry and it's okay, let go, almost had me in tears. Failing is the best way to learn sometimes. It's just a shame that her mistake had such high stakes. It cost her. It cost her life. Miles wanted to save everybody, but in order to do that, he had to lose one of the most important people in his life. It's a beautiful mirror to Peter's choice in the first game with the antidote for Aunt May. They had responsibilities bigger than themselves and had to uphold that. Because that's what Spider-Man does. I'd be a dumb boy to not at least mention it here, but John Passino murdered the score for this game, just as he did with the first, and also the Daredevil Netflix series. The hip-hop undertones with his use of leitmotifs and the licensed music all came together to create a memorable score that had me googling tracks to find my favorites. By the way, Best Friends and New York's Only Spider-Man are those two. Oh, and each of the licensed songs are bangers as well. This score screams Miles Morales, and it's not predatory of the score for Peter. These are two different Spider-Man, and it's perfectly reflected in the music. And since I haven't mentioned it yet, Miles Morales really does swing around with the swagger of the... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm done. I'm kidding. But truly, the swinging in this game is fantastic. It was already great from the first game, but then they came around and just made it so much better. The animations are stitched together seamlessly, and the tricks Miles performs make swinging feel almost therapeutic. Like seriously, next time I'm having a panic attack, I'm just going to switch on this game, turn off all HUD elements, and swing. Also, yes, Miles does swing as if he's a kid that's full of life and new to being Spider-Man. Everyone knows this, and it's great. Final note, Mr. Morales, I got tired of saying Miles, doesn't use gadgets as much in his combat like Peter, which fits well because we got his Venom powers to replace those, and I love the Venom powers. Would have even more if I could afford a PS5 because those particle effects are so pretty. Like, Miles is killing these dudes, no question. No one is surviving these punches. The new moves work themselves seamlessly into the flow of combat and make for a nice altered experience from Peter. To be fair, I played Peter like a piece of shit, and kitted myself out with web blossoms, spam all my gadgets, and then just used my banked finishers until I had more gadgets, and then web blossom was back up. It was a broken combo, but I loved it and it made me feel like Tony P Peter Parker. Anyway, Sticky Boy Kilometer Molasses was a great way to kick off the new current gen and a great appetizer for what is to come with Peter Parker 2 Hobgoblin's Nativity featuring Miles Morales. I trust Insomniac with whatever direction they want to take with this franchise and I hope to God that I can get used to this 16 year old looking Peter. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.